Hello guys, um, I'm here to uh, show you a small haul that I did today um, because I have um, a fan or we should call it maybe a client <laughs> that uh, is interested in me doing something for them and um, they already um, send me some money through PayPal and uh, it was quick I just got the money in today it was a couple of days ago and I got the money today and I went out to do the haul for this project that I need to do and and it's all about you know steampunk again which is I think one of my favorite things to do and I haven't done enough small little sculptures um, that, that, that's supposed to be related to steampunk um, other than I have one dragon that I really was focused on doing as a steampunk dragon but I want to do more things and um, actually what I got today is specifically for this project I do have a few other things that I have and I'm gonna work with um, until you know my clay goes out and then I have to buy a little bit more um, but basically what I got today with the money that they send me was um, this clay that you're looking at right now these are the primary colors I'm going to use um, I'm going to tell you that all of them are Primo uh, which I would say Sculpey Primo which I would say they're my, they're my favorite <laughs> other than Sculpey uh, the other Sculpey brand which is Sculpey 3 or Sculpey 2 I can't remember the number but anyway uh, Primo and Sculpey are my favorite more than Fimo I found Fimo a little bit hard to use but I don't know I guess it's me I don't know I I, I like using I like using um, Primo a lot so the colors that you see right now are um, this one is I can't read <laughs> sorry this one is Alsarine Cremon Hue. It's like a um, burgundy color. I don't know if you can appreciate that in camera, but um, yeah, it's Alsarine Cremon Hue. Okay, I don't know where they got that name, but okay. Got it. Then we got over here this one is um, antique gold I needed more gold because I run out of gold and definitely for the steampunk projects that I'm gonna do I need metallic colors which are the best uh, this one over here is gray granite um, which is very interesting it's like granite <laughs> But it's kind of grayish color. It's really cool. And then we got, um, I was running out of brown and I got this Primo Sculpey color Burn Umber, which is like a brown color. I had another brown, which I used for my um, dragon, but that was like chocolate, chocolate brown. This one is more. A little lighter than chocolate brown but anyways that's 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 the clay I got then for the project I'm gonna need uh, navy blue this is navy blue um, acrylic from craftman then I needed to get some tape masking tape because I'm gonna run out soon too and then I got this rub and buff um, supposed to be like an acrylic type of thing and is for when you need something to look like an antique look you can use it in wood metals anything you wanna make it look antique 
and I never have used this it says here wax metallic finish and it says in Spanish too but this is most likely to yeah make everything look old and as you know steampunk um, projects or, or or anything you create steampunk deem is has to look uh, old and and punk steampunkery <laughs> I don't know how do you say that um, so then this one was on sale really cheap like 120 I think and uh, these are findings but I have a pretty good idea what I'm gonna do with this but I'm not gonna say because it will be a surprise so these are really cool they look steampunk everything is kind of steampunk so this is what you're looking at right now these are um, adornments for steampunkery projects and these are like clock hands it's it's a lot of them it says here 30 pieces but uh, I'm very very excited about this I really want to use this in my projects I was looking for other things but I found them very expensive I think I will have to look them up online maybe I can get a better deal online I'm doing my research um, on some other things and uh, metallic things you know like steampunk kind of things like cogs um, clock pieces things like that and then I have this one uh, I, I really really think this is gonna be very useful too for my projects um, yeah. so basically I got all this at Michael's um, and that's my little haul oh and then I got this this was on sale like it runs around five bucks and I found it for like $2.99 or something like that or $2.95 this is uh, from Sculpey and it's a creative cum uh, it says here design and measure clay and that's it <laughs> I don't know I will find a use for it but it's kinda cool I think I can do things with this um, I will have to find a use for it and then I wanted to show you some of the stuff I've been using as steampunk because uh, that I thought it would be useful. Um, what you are, what you're gonna see right now in this box. This is a metal box from Camel. This is old <laughs> stuff. I got this. Um, wow, a long, long time ago, and I cannot even tell you how I got. I can't remember. I think somebody gave it to me because they bought something like a watch or something or a pair of glasses. I can't remember and they were gonna get rid of it and I said no I want it and um, in the past I and today too I you know I've always worked with computers and um, and uh, I collect a lot of stuff that I thought maybe one day it will be for use but when you're working with computers you want pieces so you know you don't have to be going crazy now because there's a lot of pieces that or screws or anything that from the computer that maybe you don't you won't use it anymore or they're you know you don't need them because they already have it and then you keep collecting all this collecting all this you gotta put them in some storage so I did and I saved it and then voila this is my little collection of computer um, screws and knots and you name it washers there's so many things 
here that even a, a Pokemon tag, I, I don't know where that came from, but it was there. And then, you know, little metal pieces all over the place. So I, you know, I can do a lot with this stuff, but I still need more like clock or watch um, pieces so I can uh, do better things um, like for steampunk, like this kind of stuff, you know what I mean? But they're expensive, extremely expensive in my opinion. They shouldn't be that expensive. And they're hard to find, especially where I'm at. They're not, you know, this thing, oops, sorry. They're not easy to find. And um, when they're out, if you don't get your hands on them, you will never see them again until I don't know when. And uh, I thought, you know, since the person that wants me to do a certain, certain sculpture uh, wants a very special steampunk theme then I got all these things so I hope you like my little haul from Michaels and some extra little things I show you that I got like the tape and I show you my secret steampunk box that I'm gonna try to make the best out of it so that's it for now guys this is um, my little haul from Michaels and um, I hope you have a wonderful evening uh, if you like this video please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.